Welcome, um, Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. So let's get in this, Pisces, and see what is transpiring. So we see um, that uh, you're in for a new start. Uh, inner, ex inner and external success is coming up for you, um, Pisces, and that is wonderful. Um, you all deserve this. Um, this is a wonderful timeline, whether it's in business or it is um, at the work floor. Um, wonderful. I see a whole lot of people are going to be, um, you know, be, want to be on Pisces team. A whole lot of people are going to be get around and wants to be on Pisces team. In the first week, we have the energy of the Six of Pentacles. Um, and this is the moon in Taurus. The Six of Pentacles is the energy of the moon in Taurus. But it's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's as if uh, a lot of you, um, Taurus is, uh, is recognizing a lot of you, Pisces, uh, um, your boss are recognizing, you know, this person is someone that we need to have on our team. We have made the right decision. Um, you know, this person is really someone who picks up uh, and do their work and, uh, um, really deliver um, a very good, good work. Uh, then we see the energy of uh, the four of pentacles, the sun in Capricorn. This is wonderful. Um, so a lot of you, um, you're going to be making a lot of money. If you were looking for a job, I see help is going to be coming in. People are going to be helping you to get back on your foot financially. And that is going to be good. So the sun in Capricorn is a wonderful, wonderful energy that is going to be coming up in the second week. In the third week, we have the six of wands and the energy of the six of wands is uh, um, that um, there is going to be um, a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a Leo. Whoever this Leo is and whatever is transpiring, you are going to be successfully overcoming a Leo. I see that uh, some of you um, had some sort of an issue that was created um, with a Taurus, a Capricorn, and um, a Capricorn is going to be getting some very, very good news. A lot of you, a Capricorn woman, could be delivering some sort of a good news to you, Pisces. So this is going to be good. So maybe this Capricorn woman is a boss or is going to be offering you um, some sort of a new contract or going to be offering you some sort of a job pro um, promotion or some sort of a project. The Two of Cups is here and the energy of the Two of Cups is secrecy. Um, is um, Venus in Cancer and it is upright. So Venus in um, Cancer. So the energy of the Two of Cups is Venus in Cancer. And the energy of Venus in Cancer is that you feel... Um, as if, uh, um, you know, if you were open and wonder if a new contract or, or your contract is going to be en extended, yes, it is going to be extended. Okay. So that is going to be good. And I see a lot of people are going to be gathering around you. So at the end of, uh, um, the month, um, your contract is going to, if Venus in Cancer, yes, your contract is going to be, um, extended. Okay. A lot of people are going to be happy to have you on their team. Then we see the outcomes of the month is the sun in Scorpion. This is very, very wonderful. Um, a lot of you could be extending a new contract for a Scorpion or to a Scorpion. A Scorpion is going to be receiving some sort of a new contract and this is going to be beautiful. A lot of people are now recognizing what was happening to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, a lot of people, this person could have been, um, out for some, some time. And I see that they're going to be back on their feet. Um, a lot of you, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person is, uh, um, going to be helping a lot of you Pisces out in order to regain, um, some sort of a stability. So I see, um, this is going to be happening and transpiring. So, um, whatever that was happening, I see people and situation, some sort of a balance is really going to be coming in and people are going to be recognizing, um, what was going on and happening. And a lot of people are going to be having the ability to recognize, uh, um, what was going on. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely positive. So this, um, 
um, you know, a lot of you expect if you're looking for a new job, some sort of a new promotion, uh, yes, it is going to be coming in. A lot of you are going to be receiving help. I see your bosses are going to be helping you to push you up the ladder. I see the sun in Capricorn. A lot of you are going to be having new business, new business opportunities is going to be coming in. Good news is going to be here in the third week. Uh, um, in the fourth week, a lot of you are going to be getting um, some positive news that your contract is going to be extended. And in the last, uh, the, the outcomes of this month, it is all about uh, the sun in Scorpio. And the sun in Scorpio is good because that is when you are recognizing and collaborating um, very, very well with people and situations around you. And that is uh, um, very, very positive. And then we are looking at uh, a lot of you are going to be dealing with um, either a, a Taurus woman or a Virgo person. It's either a Taurus or this is coming up as a Taurus and a Capricorn person. And I see some sort of a good news. It's as if these two people are going to be helping out a lot of you Pisces, um, whether it's with a job, whether it's with a project or bringing you on board or going to be balancing out and it's going to be working together with you in order to recover, um, you know, bring you the opportunities that is there for you guys and um, that is what you're going to be recognizing. So this is going to be a, a really positive and a super time, a time when people are going to be recognizing and bracing you for the upcomes and what is going to be transpiring in your world. And I see a whole lot of uh, promising new um, things are going to be transpiring in your world where you're going to be recognizing and seeing a lot of one wonderful um, changes that is going to be coming up. Um, whatever that uh, some of you, if a Libran had created a whole lot of problems for you, I see that um, a um, Capricorn woman is going to be pulling you out of uh, this problem. So if a Libran had created a whole lot of issues and problems for you, a Capricorn person is going to be pulling you out of this decision and they're going to be recognizing that this Libran just wanted to create chaos, okay? So it's as if this person is going to be recognizing that this Libran have been um, creating a whole lot of issues and as if uh, people are now going to be recognizing and releasing you um, from this uh, situation. So three times six, another person has the energy of three times six and this three times six is about materialistic stability. It's about the functionary of a, um, bringing in materialistic stability for yourself and acknowledging um, what has been happening and transpiring and being aware of uh, um, where you are in your life and how you're moving forward in a very um, positive, dynamic way. So this is really a really, really positive, positive four weeks for you guys. And whoever a Capricorn is, they're going to be helping you to resolve whatever the issues uh, and that you were having when it comes up to work or getting a new job or um, really um, diverting in this. So when we see um, the energy of inner success, yes, a whole lot of success is going to be coming up for a whole lot of uh, you Pisces. And as you work together with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, I see that this person is somehow their energy is so, or because they are going to be supporting you by, um, you know, pushing you in the right direction. Like, you know, like saying, you know, if you do this and you do that, um, it could be a new job that you begin. And these people are recognizing that you Pisces have some sort of a potential and they are going to be a, a really opening up doors of opportunities for you Pisces. So I see that this is really um, going to be a really, really promising month. And whoever this Capricorn person is, is a very gentle person, but, um, you know, don't get too arrogant with this person because as you get arrogant with this person, this person is going to be basically cutting you off. Once you get arrogant with this person, this person well, just, you know, you have to be very and be professional. Another thing is uh, being professional 
um, because if you don't be professional, this person is going to be basically, um, you know, like seeing you as, uh, um, arrogant. So, um, you know, be, a, be a little bit gentle with this person because this person don't, they don't like, um, people to be rushy, pushy. Um, the gentle, the gentler, the more, the more gentler you are is the bet is the better it is going to be um for a lot of you okay so this is um really something that you need to understand especially when you're dealing with taurus Virgo, and capricorn people the gentler you are is the more you will get out of these people but if you are pushy and you know a, bit, a little bit brutal and that sort of a thing these people will actually um you know protect themselves from you and keep you away. So I see um, good news in the first week. The first week is going to be a very good week. Second week also, the Four of Pentacles, your financial stability is going to be coming back in order. And this is because of a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that is going to be helping you to balance out your financial stability because this person is going to be opening up new doors of opportunity for you. Good news in the third week and in the last week, you are going to be getting positive news um, that a contract is going to be extended. People wants to be on um, the team of Pisces. I see a lot of people. Sun in Scorpion is very good. Whenever the sun is in Scorpion, that means a contract. You have, um, you know, maybe it was your first month and a contract is um, there for you and is sure for you. So this is going to be really wonderful, really positive. Um, there was some sort of a um, um, situation where a lot of you were could have been out of work for some time or a lot of you didn't feel good um, at the job that you were at, whatever that was happening and whatever that was transpiring. Um, you know, you're going to be overcoming this because you're going to be rebalancing out yourself and the financial hardship that a lot of you have been going through, you're going to be getting to pay off whatever that was there. You're going to be paying off whatever that was open, paying off, paying up loose ends, paying off debts and that sort of a thing. And it's going to be good. So a lot of you that had some sort of a fight from a Libran, and a Libran was creating, creating a whole lot of chaos. It's going to be okay because you're going to be overcoming this because um, a contract is going to be coming in that is going to be supporting you and moving you forward in the right direction. And I see a Capricorn person is really there that is going to be balancing you out and helping you out financially until you can get back on your foot. Whoever was worried about the new contract, don't worry, the contract is going to be coming in. However, that was worried about whether or not I'm doing good at the workplace. No, you're doing well. Um, there's no need to worry. It is going to be okay. So this is a really wonderful, beautiful um, timeline. Um, if you want to see what is coming up for the extended, follow us to the other side. The extended is always to tell you the secrets and the situation that is surrounding someone um, that you have to be aware of. And good news, um, a lot of you are going to be triumphant over a Libran. Um, a whole lot of you are going to be moving forward in a new direction. And if you're leaving a job and getting into another job, congratulations, it's going to be working out good. I do love you guys. I got to go. Namaste until next time.